Hello, my name is Kyle Sinez and welcome from Cal Smoker Company. And now that we'll discuss from the previous video that we did talk about is the overview of the Replicator Mini Plus. So once you uninstall your, um, take out the package, remove the foams and remove the plastic and um, orange tags, you're ready to go and set to go right now. So I'll give you the overview of the printer, what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right here. This is a um, mini printer right away. They, this is for beginners too as well, including the Replicator Plus 2. Um, same same uh, method. It'll give you the um, the basics understanding and also the introduction to your 3D printer as well. So uh, from here, you notice that you have these buttons right here. This will only, you can actually press it once. It'll be power on button or the power off if you want to. Then another one is the nozzle itself. It'll like maneuver itself along the way. So you got to maneuver it back and forth. And after that, you have the platform right here too as well, which is being removed if you want to remove the uh, your component out of the way. But it's not really flexible. As you can see, it's very durable. So it's very uh, sturdy enough to actually hold itself out. So, and also too as well, most other the printers like the replicator, it'll have a slide on or with the magnets. Doesn't have the magnets as you can see from this one right here and this right here. So that way, all you do is slide onto your platform right here. It'll snap in right away with the magnet. If you have the other different models that has a slide on with the plastic, same function, it'll stay, uh, it'll hold itself without the magnet. So either way can work. Okay, now on to the next one is that we're gonna slide this over here. So I'm gonna rotate this in a different obscure viewer view. So I'm gonna right there, we're good to go. Okay, so as you can see from here, you notice that there's a button right here and the outlet com uh, connection. So this is the one that goes for the 300 volts uh, outlet wall system. And this is the on and off button right here. So your off is going to be this, uh, the circle and your on is going to be the line. So it'll turn on itself. And after that, from here, we have the USB port right here. So this is the one you got to connect it from your computer. So that you got to connect that one onto the USB port. That way they be connected. So the next one is the um, two other functions too as well. The nozzle itself. So the nozzle, you can remove it right away. So this one has no buttons. As you can see from the other nozzles, nozzles I'm gonna go remove it. As you can see from the other nozzles, it will have a connection right here, which is this guy that will um, connect off, or it'll have these four magnetic strong, or these four strong magnets. So that way, all you just install it, and it'll clamp onto it right away. So it'll be stronger and it'll stay tight onto it. So I'm gonna go install it back. Make sure you have these pins onto it as you uh, connect it. I'm gonna plug this in and you will feel a strong force connecting to the magnets. And you, once you hear that snap, you're ready to go. Okay. Now that if you want to know other, your, your other functions too as well, make sure you look at the information back here. It'll give you the power of your, how much it'll take out and also read the instruction, like what's the um, information too as well. And also it'll have the VIN number too back here um, or the uh, serial number. So you can actually use that for your online uh, connections, which is the uh, MakerBot slicer. So it'll give you the IP address, or you can still connect it onto the USB port. It still works the same way. And after that, um, you'll look for other uh, connections too as well. So other information. Okay. I'm gonna slide this in the front now. Okay. Now the next one on top, I'm gonna maneuver this guy up here. Go. There we go. Bring a little more, bring a little more, and right there. Okay. Good. All right. So the next one is these two wires, right? or these ones right here, the guide, the guide system. So this is a TPF um, um, plastic guidance. So this is a um, heat resistance. If it goes, uh, and also a lot more stronger too as well. It'll guide this filament right here. As you can see, um, by pulling it out, you can see there's already a film inside of it. So that'll show you guys how you install that one. So this right here is a guide system. So once you actually extrude your filament out here, you'll actually see the, um, the filament going outward and not that you guide the filament inside the nozzle, which I'll show you that next time in the video. Not that once it's being inside or once it's being inserted inside the filament and you guys see the extrusion coming out, we will connect this one onto the nozzle, nice and snug. It'll, there'll be no, um, it's just a slide onto it. There's no snap or no grip or there's like a slight grip onto it. Once you feel the, um, how it feels right away, but it's just like a slide in, it'll slide in snugly right away. Same thing with us back here too as well. You un, um, unslide it, it'll slide back on. Same guidance, you guys actually guide the, 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 the filament from the back. So then it'll become, um, become um, anyway, it'll guide the, the, the filament onto the nozzle. This one back here is your area where you installed your filament. So all you do is go back here. You can just slide it out. There's a little tension in, in the back. 
So all you do is slide it out, and this is what it looks like on your spool. So make sure you have this type of spool. Uh, it will not actually connect with the other bigger spools. I'll show you that one. Um, basically, the bigger spools actually is a bit too much for this one. The Replicator, Replicator Plus does have a bigger spool. I'll show you that one next time in the video. But this right here, this is what it looks right here from the filament. You can just guide the filament on the end of it onto this channel and go from there. Now that once you install it, all you just slide it in here, back here, slide it down, and that's it. There's no connection. It's just a slide on fit. That's it. And after that, guide this hose right here into here, slide it in, you're good to go. And that's it. You're ready to go from your first printer. And that, that will show you how you connect your computer or connect the printer onto the computer. And that will print out our first prototype. Okay. And that's that. We're good to go. I'll see you next time.